Let's talk about oil stocks. Welcome back to the channel. There has been a lot of focus in recent years on solar stocks, clean energy stocks and EVs, but if we have learned anything in the past two months, it is that oil stocks are still very much leading the world energy production. Over the past few weeks, we have seen huge increases in oil prices, and although I don't like to see it, it does provide stock market opportunities. So today I want to talk about 88 Energy. This oil stock is listed across multiple stock exchanges, such as on the OTCQB, ticker EEENF, and 88E on both the ASX in Australia and the AIM in the UK. This stock has seen a sizable gain in recent weeks, and a lot of retail investors think that this can make huge multi-bagger gains. But is this stock really everything that investors think it is? Can 88 Energy really make big gains or is 88 Energy overhyped and overvalued? In this video I will analyze 88 and give you my honest opinion. As always this is not financial advice, I am not a financial advisor. But if you do enjoy this content or find value in this video, can you kindly show your support for the channel and smash the like button. Now let's get into it. First of all, who are 88 Energy? 88 Energy is a junior oil and gas company engaged in the exploration and production of oil and gas at the, at the Alaska North Slope region. The North Slope region of Alaska is home to some of the largest oil and gas fields in the world and is North America's most prolific oil producing region. The company's goal is to build a successful exploration and production company that delivers material benefits to its shareholders. They have a simple strategy. Identify highly prospective world class assets add significant value to the assets in order to realize value for shareholders. And they aim to achieve this by targeting overlooked or emerging play types to capitalize on opportunities prior to larger industry players moving in. 88 Energy operates three main projects, a 193,000 acre operation at the site of Project Icewine, a 195,000 acre project at the site of Project Peregrine, and as we can see here from the North Slope Oil and Gas Major Discoveries map, both Project Icewine and Peregrine are located in the same region as Kupperuk and Prudho Bay, which was discovered in 1968 and has produced 15 billion barrels of oil to date. 88 Energy began working on Project Icewine in 2015 and significantly increased acreage up to its current 193,000 acres. Then there is the Umiat oil field where 88 Energy holds 100% working interest in the acreage located immediately adjacent to Project Peregrine. Yukon Leases, located near Point Thompson. In January 2021, the company increased its position and discussions continue with nearby lease owners to explore joint development opportunities. Plans for future exploration continue and will be subject to farm out and other discussions. And finally, we have Project Longhorn. The oil and gas production assets, collectively known as Project Longhorn, are located in the Permian Basin in Texas. The acquisition represents 88 Energy's first move into producing oil and gas assets and is in line with the company's strategy to build a successful exploration and production company. Project Longhorn contains well understood geology with low technical risk and provides, and provides near term upside. Project Longhorn attractive production growth forecast. There's planned capital development activities have been certified proven reserves given their low risk nature. With forecast growth peak production rate of 1300 BOE per day in 2024 based on planned work program. Giving a five year operating cash flow of $40 million based on $80 per barrel. Now I'll talk more about the impact of the price per barrel of oil later in this video and predictions for both the 88 energy share price as well as oil prices in general so stick around for that. But 88 energy's focus remains on the Alaskan slope and the significant upside from the ice wine and peregrine projects. As for the short term catalysts, we have the drilling of Merlin 2 in Q1 and the potential of the ice wine acreage and active consideration of new venture opportunities for portfolio expansion to create additional opportunities for shareholders. First, let's look at the latest news. Today, 88 Energy have just announced a Project Icewine update. Icewine has received a boost after light oil was recovered from two separate production tests 
at Pantheon Resources, Talitha A. Well, about 2.8 miles from the Icewine acreage. 88 Energy says it interprets all the targets tested by Pantheon to spread into the Project Icewine tenure. The CB formation is the same formation that hosts 88 Energy's Lima Complex. The Lima Complex was a secondary target in the Charlie 1 Discovery Well drilled at Project Icewine in Q1 2020. The results of Pantheon's well, together with the previously drilled Alcade 1 well, will be taken into account in the revaluation of, of 88 Energy's Icewine 1 well data. Project Icewine covers around 195,000 acres and is located on the same trend as a number of recent findings in the Schrader, Bluff and CB formations. The project boasts a large independent resource of around 1.77 billion barrels of oil equivalent and following a revaluation of the acreage following Pantheon's success and they have said that they will press ahead with the plant farm out. But this is not the only news coming out of this oil stock this week. On Tuesday, 88 Energy released a Project Peregrine update. In this statement, it says that the Merlin 2 pre-spud operations are on track and that the spud of Merlin 2 well is scheduled for the week commencing 7th of March 2022. So here is some very interesting upcoming news to be on the lookout for. This will begin at some point next week. As it says here, the mobilization of the Arctic Fox rig to the Merlin 2 appraisal well location is now complete and pre-spud operations are continuing and now entering the final phase. Merlin 2 will initially be drilled down 2,000 foot but then to a target depth of 8,000 feet subject to results. This is anticipated to collectively take approximately one week for the initial drilling and drilling to total depth is expected to take a further four weeks including wireline logging. Flow testing of Merlin 2 will be contingent upon the wireline results. And in the statement from Ashley Gilbert, we are now entering the final phase of pre-spud preparations and look forward with excitement to the next few weeks of drilling operations. Success at Merlin 2 has the clear potential to be transformational for our shareholders and we look forward to providing updates as the drilling of this appraisal well progresses. Looking at the charts, over the past year we can see clearly the huge spike up this energy stock had at this time last year, gaining nearly 400% in March 2021 before dropping again very quickly as 88 Energy ran into some issues and caused delays. But we can see a very familiar formation again this year with gains being made throughout January and February as we have come back into oil season. Looking closer we can see that the stock price had kind of flatlined through Q4, but once we hit January, EEE in F stock took off once more from just 0.17 on January 3rd up to 4 cents in early February, before a huge drop here, which I will talk about in a moment. But I think that we are seeing the beginning of another upward move right now that should continue over the next few weeks at least and should see some very positive price movement. However, what I feel caused, or at least played a part, in this oil stock's price dropping in February is something that all 88 Energy investors or prospective investors need to be aware of. The share structure here is not good. On February 9th, the company announced that it had successfully completed a placement to raise $32 million through the issuance of 914 million shares at a price of 3.5 cents Australian. And then just a few days later, the awarding of 15.8 million shares as performance rights and a total of 57 million shares to be issued. That is nearly 1 billion shares being added to the share structure of this company which according to the 88 Energy website already has 14.8 billion shares. Now to put this into perspective, for anyone who is thinking that 88 Energy can achieve a $1 share price or even a 50 cent share price which is one that I see a lot of comments saying is a realistic price target, $1 would put 88 Energy at a near $15 billion market cap, which would put 88 Energy into the top 50 list of biggest oil stocks in the world. Even at 50 cents, this would put 88 Energy onto the top 100 list at, a, at about 75th on the list. Now I know that a lot of you watching this don't want to hear that I think that this is unrealistic for a junior oil stock like 88 Energy, but I have to be honest with you. 
A lot of investors see the share price and think, wow, this is so cheap at less than four cents. But in reality, the market cap is already pretty high. And I will look at the financial statements in just a moment to see what I mean. But first, if you like this type of honest analysis, where I try to give you a fair look at the company, then please smash the thumbs up button and help me grow this channel. And if you want to support my work, check out my Patreon, where I give honest opinions on stocks, not just rocket emojis and claims that stocks are going to the moon. Now, back to 88 Energy. Looking at the recent cash flow statement from the company up to the 31st of December, we can see that they have used 5.6 million and 17 million dollars in cash throughout 2021, but boosted their financials significantly with an equity offering, meaning that at the end of 2021, the company had total cash of 32 million dollars. To get a better look overall, let's go back to the biannual financial statements, where we can see that prior to this, 88 Energy had total assets of 117 million and total liabilities of just 22 million dollars giving 88 Energy an asset to liability ratio of 5.5 to 1, so this is a very healthy balance sheet and total equity of $94 million. But remember that the current market cap of 88 Energy is $506 million right now. So how high do you think that 88 Energy can realistically go? An article published today says that oil prices are climbing and the cost of a barrel could reach $185. As of today, the cost per barrel has reached $115, the highest price in nearly a decade, but that could mean that it could go up by a further 50%. Drop a comment and let me know what you think of this. Remember to show your support for the channel and hit the like button, and if you're new, consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next update.